this is a little bit odd. I'll just put the tank back on so I can see where to bring the seat hoop out from. Basically, I want it to come kind of from here-ish, I guess. But if you look at this, these tabs have been uh, welded on after the event, I think. I'm not really sure if... I think he put these on, but I could be wrong. Um, but the holes don't match up with the tabs. Now, this is all the way in. But the, the bolt holes, it's like half a hole off at least so yeah I'm not quite sure what's going on but it may maybe these were there before I don't know I haven't got a clue it looks like um, it's, all, it's all in at the front properly it won't any further forwards and if I bring it back the holes are even further out so mm. anyway um, we'll cut the the tube out I'm gonna give it a little bit of extra length he wants the C hoop to come out to basically in line with the rear axle which is fine so I've got a basic measurement from there going backwards, I'll just add, I don't know, 20, 30 mil, probably 30 mil, because we're going to need to cope this anyway. Um, and we can figure it out. Um, he is bringing the other tank. Um, he's got another tank, which I think has got a hole in it. Um, so we'll need to fix that up anyway. Um, and we will be cutting these tabs off and welding one on in the centre to go on to a frame support which I'll, I'll make up and that'll act as a brace between the frame the uh, seat hoop tubes anyway both sides to keep it straight um, so these will be going so this isn't really an issue that's going and this is going I just want to know where I'm supposed to mount it to so we'll leave a bit of extra and that will be fine um, you may have heard some buzzing on the video that was Steve-O texting saying really sorry but I've overslept because the alarm didn't go off I'm leaving now he lives in Bridgewater that's an hour and a half away I could wait for him but I'm not going to <laughs> he should have been here on time if he wants any say in this at all be on time right we just had a phone call from Steve-O <coughs> couldn't be more apologetic, he really couldn't. Um, he's on his way, he's not far away, so we will be seeing him today, which is cool. Um, I told him I'm making all sorts of design decisions without him, so if anything, he'll put his foot down. Anyway, I'll cut up um, two notes. Exactly the same. I've just got like a little, um, uh, a little bandsaw. It's like a little draper thing, but for what I need, it does the job. It's all good. Probably needs a new belt on it soon. Um, these, I now need, I'm not going to do a 180, because I've had another think about it. And without Steve-O here to object, I'm going to do it this way. It'll be fine, it'll be fine. So we've got a 90 degree bend in each of the bars. These are intentionally long. Instead of running them straight up to the frame, 
because the 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 back of the front section of the frame is is quite wide. Um, what we might do, we we need to figure out exactly how wide um, Steve O wants to have this seat. Depending on how wide he wants it, what we might end up doing is kicking these out slightly, so they come out like this, so they can meet up with the frame nice and neatly. This can be spaced however we want. What we're going to do is, um, I need to check and see what size this is. Uh, 19.09. 19 So that's 20, okay. So, it will not be a tight fit. <laughs> well, it should, it should be all right just to align it. What I wanna do is to, once we get the, the width of this figured out, I'll cut a section of this off insert it in here, drill it, and then plug weld it so it's nice and straight. Um, I've got some flat blocks and stuff which I can set all this up on to, to make sure it's all absolutely level and true and blah 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 blah. So that's all be good. Um, and then depending on how wide he wants this, we'll cut another piece of this off. I've got some spares while well, I've trimmed the edge off. Oh. Here we go. And then if he wants to have it really wide, we'll just stick another piece in. It won't be that wide, obviously. And then this will run through the centre of it just so I've got something to weld. These will all be bevelled, so it'll weld to that piece of tube, the inner sleeve, and this piece of tube which butts up against it so we get a nice strong weld it won't be going anywhere um, the reason for having the flat on it is this is where he's talking about putting um, his tail light so we'll set that into the back end of this hoop um, but coming off the back of this we can also make provision for a license plate holder stuff like that so rather than welding anything to a a curved piece of metal it'll be to a straight piece of metal should neaten it up no end um none of this is straight yet it all needs to be sorted but you get the basic idea one of those in the middle decide what width we want it cut it all to length offer it up weld it sorted if we kink these out then where that kink is going to appear and how severe it is totally depends on how much material we add or take away to the middle. So that's it. As it is, I've got more than enough straight pieces. I've got about know, an inch either side where the bend stops and it goes into a straight. So, you know, a piece like that in the middle, that'll be fine. Hey, Steve, who's joined us? Yes. Eventually. Thank you. I'll be there first thing. Cracker lunch time. <laughs> well, it is first thing in the afternoon. Right, okay. So, Ugh. gone ahead and done a few. We're on wide angle because Steve is in the house. Oh. Anyway. <laughs> right. Um... We started off in the rear seat, uh, but he needs to make a few decisions. So what we've done is we've got two pieces of bar with a 90 degree bend. I've trimmed them all so both exactly the same length and beveled the ends. Um, we've offered it up and we reckon it needs to fit basically there. Just about. Just, yeah. just about. Um, and that is basically the width. Now to me, that looks like it is, do you want to get a tape measure? It's narrower at the rear, isn't it, is it the... Uh... Yeah, so it's going to need to come... I can't really get it all the way in because of those no, no. tabs. Ideally, we need to knock the tabs off. 
Well, it's 11 inches across the frame there. And that's bang on 11 there. What's it this one? Ah. It, so we right. need we need to so do that. Space it out a little bit at this end. Further up. Uh -huh. Yeah. So that's how we're going to do it then, yeah? So we want about a two inch spacer. No. Ish. We need to get the tabs and stuff off so we can measure it properly. So that's what we're going to do. It's going to go. Grab that for a sec. Assume the other one's still there. It's basically going to go middle of this frame tube. We need to take these tabs off so we can offer it up and blah 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 blah. Uh, it's going to go middle of that frame tube, straight back. There isn't going to be any kink in it or anything else. <clears throat> we'll put a spacer in here, and that side will go down there. And then... Ooh. Sorry. That's fine. So, that's the other thing. I'm guessing it's on it. The only thing is, I mean, this, this piece is going to be basically seat hump. Isn't it? Yeah, so as long as so as long as that is roughly where the seat arm is gonna start, I guess. It isn't. But I think you're holding it low. Right. What we might end up doing is dropping these down a little bit. Well these are coming off completely. We was gonna be welded onto those, but I think they're in the wrong place. Yeah, I think we cut them I think we cut them off and So I think if we come off here I think if we Take the angle. Because then the angle will be more. So that will be stronger. Do you see what I mean? Yeah, it's just where. It's too shallow if we come off the Yes, east. it is. It needs to Agreed. come off here. Okay, cool. That's not so bad because the inside of this is flat. So we can build a little gusset, play it across here, box it all in so it's nice and strong. So basically all this lot is coming off. We're done. Which is the next job. So, is this we, tabs, do we get to use power tools now? We do. <laughs> now, shouty, angry ones. So, that's coming off. These are coming off. They're coming off. And it all needs to be dressed up. So, we yeah. get rid of all the welding and everything else. I can already see that it's not great. It's not amazing. But so, it doesn't matter because it's all going to be powder coated again anyway. So, um, I've got some of this spare fire blanket stuff. We'll get some of that, we'll cover all the engine up because I don't really want to damage that. Then we'll get the angle grinder out and make some noise. Yes! So we broke the angle grinder, it died, and the caliper angle grinder had it about three years, and it's just given up the ghost. Let's see how black and dead. This lot is going to be um, cleaned up. I don't want to do too much grinding to it with the engine in place because we'll just end up trashing stuff. So cut the tabs off, that'll do for now. We've got a rough idea where we're going to be mounting everything. Um, and basically it's top tubes to about here, isn't it? Just yeah. south of these. Yeah, once this is all dressed and yeah. So um, what we're going to do is take the engine out. Put that on the dolly and get it out of the way. 
Then we can take the shock out, because I don't want to trash that either. Um, then we can start grinding all this lock down, jack it all back up again, tack the seat tubes in place, so at least we've got placement. And that will probably be it for today. Um, but yeah, next step is engine out. We're not going to drain the oil. I don't want to leave a dry engine, so you can get away with it because this is a breakaway frame. So we're going to take out this side of the, the, the lower tubes. All the oil, coal out, and its lines should then come out with the engine. We can stick that on the dolly, shove it over there out of the way, and then steve is going to sort the engine out. That's that's all him. He's going to dress all this up. Uh, and that means I can just carry on with the fabrication. Yay! Crack on. He's still suffering. Right, so steve has been playing with the new angle grinder and he's basically cut all the tabs off, ground them back, I mean they're not amazing, but nope. they don't really need to be at this point. We'll, all this will get dressed up. Well, it's be welded before, you can see a bit of porosity there, which is, was well, he, he did it with a stick welder, didn't he? Yeah, and there's, a, there's like a, a hole there. Right, well, all this is gonna get sorted out and stuff anyway um we moved the welding table over so the weld is all set and here we've got the seat hoop which is ready to be welded i'm just going to tack it together to start off with 
um, this piece and this piece are basically just spaces to keep these two parallel um, set on two plates as well obviously so we get the height sorted and then in the back there you can see that we put a sleeve in there and cut a spacer just to fill the gap we've left a gap either side so I can get loads of weld in to fill it and then I'll dress all that back once all the welding is done completely we just want to get it tacked together now so we can actually try it on the bike and make sure we're going in the right direction Right, it is welded, it is together, um, it's still really really hot, <laughs> but um, what we've got is these these two bars here aren't going to be staying, those two are just to space it out and keep these two parallel, you see we're fully welded in around the seam and I've left quite a lot so I can dress it down and smooth it out and make it all just look like it's one solid piece basically. Um, we're going to call it a day there. This needs to cool down before it can really be ground down. And I'll take this space out initially, dress it all up. I'll probably leave that one in there until we actually get it fist to the bike as well. Um, we're going to put it up to the uh, frame. And this line here is basically going to be the longest part. So that's this top edge here is going to contact the frame, and then the rest of it will have to be coped in. So I'll get a nice snug fit and I can weld all around it, and it's all strong and good and cushy. No, and then no it's just the supporting pieces underneath. That's it, job done. So we've actually got quite a lot done today, I think. Yeah. You look very grubby. Look at the camera. <laughs> Very grubby, very sweaty too. Yeah. <laughs> but no, it's good, quite pleased with that. So it's coming on. We obviously took the engine out. That was a ball. Uh, that was a chore. No, it was a baller. Um, this this bike has got a breakaway frame. So the, as you're sitting on the bike, the right hand side of the, the frame actually comes away and a supporting member that goes across as well, just a bracing beam. You can unbolt all that, and it's supposed to make it easier to get the engine out. And to be fair, it wasn't too bad. Not really. It does weigh an absolute ton. Um, but we've got it out. It's now on a dolly. So next time Steve goes up, he can wheel it outside and degrease it and clean it up and do all sorts yeah, of stuff. Yes, it'll be degrease and strip it back. So what are you going to do to it? I think we will probably degrease it, uh, strip all of the, the loose black paint off, uh, make sure that it's all, it's his, it's his back as, as far as it can go, uh, VHT prime it, uh, and then uh, put this uh, VHT wrinkle coat in black on it, and then once that's all done and that's dried, uh, we'll just put some detailing on the, uh, the engine fins on the side and take the paint off, uh, so that it's just got sort of a nice sort of set of silver lines going all the way down the side. Uh, the oil cooler will probably be changed and that will be, we were talking about maybe mounting so that, that somewhere a little bit better. Uh, we've got to re, remanufacture the, or refabricate the bracket because that's horrible. Uh, and the cases. Uh, the cases are going to be sort of 
be blasted or sort of like blasted sort of finish rather than trying to trying to polish the cases uh, and then that should match in with the same sort of be blasted finish on the tank okay cool so literally it's just a dress up job not pulling it apart and well the, 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 en the engine has the engine the engine when I got it it was uh, completely torn down brand new gaskets put in right. everything checked all the tolerances done uh, and it was bang on. It was only a twelve thousand mile engine. I was very lucky to find it. So, so that's all basically done. Then. So it's all. I mean, the, the bike's done a hundred miles. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Not even broken in. Okay. No. Um, I did ask. I did say I was going to ask Steve a few questions. The pod filters. No. Nah. They they were a thrower. They were just thrown on so he could run it and get it through its MOT and stuff like that. They're straight in the bin. He's going to be replacing them with some others. The choke cable that snapped or something you said. The choke cable snapped. Yeah. No. So and, and I I never got round to replace I never got round to replacing it because I was going to take it take it to bits again. But we're going to reinstate that, yeah. Yes, we're going to put a, put a choke cable on. Okay. Um, the carburetor welding dodgery. I, I I don't know. I mean. Me, you, you didn't do it, did me, you? Me, me and Simon have known each other for a long while and he knows that even I'm not that, that much of a budget. Yeah, it isn't. We'll, uh, we'll just get another one though, just change it out. Right. We'll just change We'll just change, change the cable. Right. Uh, worst case scenario, we might just need a new a new adjuster, but it's the, it's all little bits and pieces. But if we're going to... The whole point in doing this was I wasn't happy with, with the build. It took... Five years, if not a little bit longer. I said it was three. No, it was five. Because it was very much stop start and stuff happens, moving houses and everything else. Uh, oh, right. Okay. And I think the thing is, it's the same as I said to you. We, the build sort of lost its way. So now we've got a really clear picture of what we want, what we want it to look like, the styling and everything else. So it's stick to that and keep it okay. as simple and as as minimal as we we possibly can okay carbs were never tuned no Car the carbs were apparently set up but looking at them now uh no, no. so uh okay that's all right we, we just give you something to do so anyway we're going to call it a day there because i need to get home it's now four o'clock i said i'll be leaving at four we're having a barbecue he's going to go home and wash i, I am going to have a wash actually yeah and next time, um, what I'll be doing is cleaning all this up, fitting it to the bike, coping it in, doing the supporting brackets and all that kind of stuff. Steve, I won't be here. That'll all happen during the week. But I'll throw out another video towards the end of the week. It's basically just waiting to see how things are getting on, really. And that'll be it. Once we get the seat hoop in, then we can start rebuilding things and fettling things and sticking them back on the bike really. We've still got to sort out what we're going to do with the seat hump and the seat unit. We've got some cool ideas there. It's all going to be made out of metal hopefully instead of plastic. Yeah. Um, and we'll see what happens. It's all good. Next Saturday. <coughs> you down next Saturday? I can be. Sweet. We can, uh, we can uh, see how things are getting on and uh, worst case scenario, at least we can get, get that engine degreased. <coughs> engine is all you. I know. I'm not touching it. So when you say we can get that engine degrees, well, okay, that's oh. you in a bucket out there. I've got a hose. Brilliant. Anyway, thanks for stopping by. We we'll see you later. See ya. Hi, yeah. Um, I've been staring at this thing for three days. All those other shenanigans that you saw happened on Saturday. It's now Tuesday. And I've tried several times, but I just can't bring myself to weld this on the bike because it's wrong. <laughs> it is, it's wrong. It's not screaming cafe racer to me at all. The reason being, it's square. Well, it's not square. There's not a lot straight in there, but it's not round. And that to me is what a cafe racer, yeah, that, that defines a cafe racer is the, the seat hoop.
being circular and the little seat hump and stuff. That ain't it. So, um, if you look at um, other pictures of cafe racers, that's what they all look like. That kind of defines a cafe racer. Um, now, I know this is what Steve-O wanted, and fair enough, it's his bike, he can do what he wants with that. Um, but I just think he's going to regret it if we stick this on the bike. Because, um, you know, he's, he sort of lost his way with the bike previously. He had all these intentions of building a cafe racer, and somehow it ended up with a Jix 1000 rear end on it, which is more Street Fighter. This, I think, would not look out of place on a, I don't know, a Katana, an ET1100, an old GS of some description, something like that, because it would be in keeping with the kind of squared off nature of those bikes. <clears throat> but it's not cafe. Well, it is, but it's not cafe enough. So, working on the premise that it's better to seek forgiveness than it is permission but mostly on the fact that steve -O's not here until Saturday um, I'm, I'm just going to re... I'm going to make another one only I'm going to make what I think should be on there and then I'll give him the choice if he if he still wants to put this on that's that's down to him but if you hopefully he'll go for the other one and go more a traditional route it's very wide as well and i think it's out of proportion with the rest of the bike so that's what we're going to do i'm going to make another one and if he still insists on putting this on then i'm going to beat him severely with the stupid square end of it then i'm going to let him get better and then I'm going to take the other end and stick it straight up his arm. Anyway, so that's the plan. Yeah. We can just do better than that. And why wouldn't you go for better? That's what I'm doing. <laughs> Sorry, Steve. -O. You'll like it when you get here. I'm sure you will. But I think you need to see what the options are. Anyway, thank you for joining. And um, we will see you again at the weekend, hopefully. Laters.